Hi, I'm Dan. Thanks for stopping in, checking to see what's going on in DimGuard this week. Um, so, the obviously the the big uh, event for DimGuard behind the scenes this week has been um, going live with um, Volume Twenty Four on Kickstarter. Um, and you know, so we're four days into it. That opening weekend is always a, a, an interesting benchmark. And looking at the data there, it looks like we have about a 20% increase uh, over 23. Not surprising that that's really more recovery than uh, than expansion. Uh, 23, you know, there was a there was a big gap between 22 and 23. We did a lot of self reflection and addressed some problems, um, and so it was kind of a, a the totals were down on 23, and it's just nice to see those coming back. Seeing, um, looks like people are are coming around that Dimguard is is back on its feet and doing things right. Um, the other big thing is 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 uh, like I said in earlier, I think last Friday or when when it, last week sometime, um, we're looking at scheduling a premiere of a Dimguard title each month at a at a convention beginning in February. Um, and so we are pursuing that. Uh, that, of course, takes some time, dedication. Um, we uh, we launched the next the development of the next series, which won't you know it won't it won't see the light of day for a couple months. But we're already and it's looking good. Um, it's centered on on uh, warlock patrons. Um, how you have extra extra planar entities that either cannot or won't uh, go to war directly and so they're acting through their 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 minions their warlocks um, and that's looking quite good uh, so we're very we're very happy with that um, and uh, we're again happy with the structure that we have settled in um, yeah so the so a couple of weeks ago um, prior to the launch of 24, I'd sent out an email and asked for feedback from, in particular, I'd sent out e emails to people who had been multiple backers in the past, but were not currently backing and asked, you know, why that was. And the, like of the, I, and I ended up corresponding with, I don't know, many dozens of uh, uh, people who had used, used Dim Garden. And by far the most common observation was is that um, you know there's just, there's just too much Dim Guard for them to use. At, at least adventures. There was too many Dim Guard adventures for them to use. And you know, they're like, you know, I've got enough Dim Guard adventures to last me for the next year. Um, I, I just don't see me going out and and investing in more. I, I, I like what I have, I like what you're doing, but um, there's just more than I can use. And that's a valid observation, you know, I understand that. Um, that was one of the things, but we're already addressing that. That was one of the things we addressed. Um, we had been publishing like 15 adventures a month. And uh, and then supplements uh, as they arose from, from that, from those adventures. Um, and we have restructured that, right? So we, you know, we, we, we are better aligning our, our adventures um, to something that is more manageable, um, you sh we so so the the goal is right. The, the thing that we want to be sure to do is if you are running, uh, if you're playing D and D twice a week, and this is a very common architecture where you have alternating DMs. Uh, we want both of those. We want that group to have at, have two Dim Guard campaigns available. Right, so each DM can present, and that's what we're doing. So, um, and that, that, that's that's the way the adventures are, are now aligned, and that's they will continue to be aligned that way. Um, and uh, but that leaves a lot of room because um, that's you're looking at you know eight to to ten at most adventures there a month for that. Um, and uh, you say, well, if you want to produce the same amount of content, what are you going to do? So the, the idea is, is that behind that now, we are going to increase the number of, of supplements, things that um, improve the experience 
of those adventures. Um, they're not integral to the adventures. They can be moved from one adventure to another. Um, things like uh, the magic item backgrounds that, that we were doing now or um, expanding the NPC offerings, which was another thing that people noted was that they, they wanted, it was way down on the list, but it was something that was noted multiple times from the email exchanges was that they wanted better notes on how to run DM. So we're going to, we're going to include that and better artwork as well. So we're, we're going to, um, uh, we're going to include more artwork in particular character artwork for the NPCs. Um, but anyway, back to my point. So, so we're, we're we want you to have at least enough content so that if you're running a, a multi-game week, you can present two a week. Um, and then we want uh, we want to produce enough supporting content to really make that a good experience, right? To really to really allow a DM to take take off with that. Um, and so that. That should address the issue of too much, <laughs> too many Dim Guard adventures. We think, um, and it should also broaden the exposure of Dim Guard beyond just people who are looking for adventures. People can be used for people who are running whatever campaign, right? Whatever campaign you're using, you're like, well, I, I, I could really take these monster slayers, uh, from CR zero to twenty, and, and use them in my game, um, regardless of where I'm playing, right? Um, so that's the type of thing we're doing. Um, so we think we're addressing those issues, but that, you know, that takes a lot of time and effort. Um, and uh, we also started development on the new series, which is about warlocks and um, how they use their patrons. I'm sorry, how they use their minions. The warlocks patrons don't want to fight directly. That would have, you know, just cataclysmic consequences. It would be a cataclysm for the multiverse if deities and arch fiends and whatnot were fighting directly so they use their warlocks as their implements to attack each other indirectly uh and we're a couple of episodes into that it looks really good really really happy with that um looks like it's going to be a really really interesting series that's not going to hit the publication until march i, I think it's when we will put the first series out there um so that's what's going on in dim guard currently um Thanks again for taking a look. I uh, hope you'll either join the patron, the Patreon, um, which is patr patreon.com slash dimguard, or jump on to Kickstarter and back volume 24. Um, you can go to Kickstarter and search for dimguard with two A's. Um, or, you know, just go on to Dim DM's Guild or Drive Through RPG, and you can find lots of uh, dimguard material there, and it's growing all the time. So there's lots of ways to get involved, um, and uh, we hope that you will.